it's time to fight Ganon. Yes. However, you want to just like make sure you got food or something. We got arrows. We got lots of weapons. We do have lots of weapons. We have a lot of arrows. We do. We have plenty of arrows. Do we have? Do we have food? Have we? Do, are you eating enough, honey? Do we have enough? Food? You get. You getting enough nutrition? Uh, th yeah, that's plenty. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have um, attack up stuff? No, we don't. We have this. We have defense up stuff. We have a defense fish. Low level, low level for, 30 for 30 minutes. And low level for 10. Um. You want me to go do that? Well, you know, I'm just, th this is it. Mm -hmm. This is it. We are going to do it. We're going to make it happen. Whatever you think you want for the upcoming battle, you make. And that, that'll be, that'll be the plan. We have 69 oh, wow. arrows. Nice. Yay. And now we have 89 arrows. Certainly we're set on arrows. <laughs> Maximum hearts. I mean, recovery. It, you really, I, I mean, you're probably going to do defense or offense, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do. So offense is bananas. Is it? Okay. That's attack. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have that many bananas. It's fine. Is that still high or is it medium? That's high for three and a half minutes. All right. And then, you know, we have low low level for, um, we have low level for 30 minutes, which is pretty good. Okay. Anything else? I mean, we can cook that if you want. We're here. Uh, yeah. But like... I'm just wondering, like, are we gonna be scarfing down every piece of food? Like, is every hit gonna be like, oh my god, 15 hearts. Oh, 15 hearts. Like, I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. But, like, some of the, the high-level Lionels, I mean, they give us they give us trouble. So, like, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we got lots. Okay. So you're doing it. This is it. I mean, maybe. What? Maybe look around some more. Maybe look around some more? Just a little. I should probably use the. Isn't. Is the other shield better than the Hylian shield? I don't know, but I'm gonna be in character. Oh, you're gonna. You're gonna. Okay. You can always change, and I can always change whenever we get somewhere. Where are normal pants? What are normal pants? Are those normal pants? This feels right. The tunic is wrong, but it's fine. I wanted the blue one. Okay. You got the blue the blue tunic and the green hat. And you're getting shot. And you still have defense up. Which you will need as you continually get shot. Actually, the defense... You might still have the defense up by the time you are in the... Uh, are in the fight. Yeah. Awesome. Protection Thanks, Drook. Ready to roll. Drook's always ready to help. That one didn't cause you to, like, go anywhere? Oh, you're climbing. Yeah. Oh, are you trying to What's go after happening? the, um, are you trying to go after the thing? That was a mistake. <laughs> There's, uh, uh, we, we learned that the, um, the final, uh, is it, is it the Royal Guard's armor? Yeah. The final Royal Guard's armor is, you have to climb the outside of the thing. Mm-hmm. Because that was one of our viewer suggestions. <laughs> And that was the last thing that we... If we were going to do it, we have to do it now. Go... We don't know oh. exactly where it is. We know it's on the outside. So that's what you're doing. He doesn't want to climb the glass, it seems. Well, then don't do it. Don't climb the glass. Oh, God. 
totally deserved that. <laughs> you absolutely deserved that. You could have jumped. You can jump sideways. I forgot I could jump sideways. We'll never. We'll never make it into the sanctum. <laughs> Mal will, Mal will lose all of our food just trying to get this this piece of armor that's up in the 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 building somewhere. Oh look! Well, look at that. God, this is really not the time. Oh, I don't want to jump through that. It's one of them. I'm not willing to do this right now. I've got a world to save. Well, you're certainly up here, wherever- oh, there's a uh, ladder. Another ladder. Korok gave up. Of course. You jump down in that? Is that where the- I don't like that. Somewhere up here is supposed to be the last piece of- of, uh, of armor. Oh god. Please, camera. Oh, I bet that, yeah, there it is. That's gotta be it. That ain't it. That ain't it. No, don't, no. I was still trying that to That was not on. it. Okay, um... Oh, you are having you are having a time, aren't you? I am. Is it higher? Can you go higher? Oh, you should go up and just look around. Oh, I bet that door will open if you play um, Zelda's Lullaby on the Ocarina. It'll probably pop right open for you. You're you're nearly there. I don't think the treasure chest is up here. Yeah, I don't either. I think we might have we must have passed it somewhere. You found a treasure chest, but it wasn't the one that had the armor in it. You're gonna get really good cell reception up here. Your Shiga Slate's gonna work extra good. I'm not happy about heights. Like as a concept? Yeah. Sorry. Can you stand there? No. <laughs> That's a point up there. Yeah, like. I don't think you can stand up here. I think if you're trying to get a look around, that this, I think this might be it. It's very, um, it's very murky. It's a little hard to see because there's so much, um, it's like a fog machine underneath the castle. <laughs> is that what you're calling it's it? It's a really big... Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, of course there is. Hi, little fella. Examine. I was up here! I was over... Hi! I've been here a long time! Oh, you recovered your stamina by being at the top. By hanging like this, I guess. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Has that worked on everything in the game? Anyway, this is it. This is cool. And if you press up a little higher, you'll do a handstand. No, you won't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of a different game. Yeah. This is really cool. This is, it's neat. It's just you can't see, you can't see it so good because mm -hmm. of, um, my, my assumption is Ganon is down there just smoking every Marlboro within a 50 mile radius. And that's why it looks like this. So the, the real the real question is, did you have an idea about where... The treasure chest is? Yeah. No. Because we definitely missed it. Was it in the quest? Like, didn't the quest give us... The quest just says second floor. If you go to side quests, second floor. That's really not helpful. Which is probably why the viewer suggestions listed climbing the outside of the tower before you get to the sanctum, because otherwise second floor is not particularly helpful. But I you thought I might see it. Maybe we went up too high. Yeah, maybe. You know, maybe it was a little bit lower. 
You are flying backwards. I'm fine. I guess. Oh, there, that's got red carpet in it. What's that mean? Can you go down in there? There's a... Oh, I thought for a minute, I was like, are you back in the castle? No. Oh, I'm back here. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, like... Oh, there's more red carpet. Oh, there's the thing I didn't like. Maybe it's in here. Oh. There it is. Oh. So when we looked down, we saw it, like that was it. I don't like that. Complete. Good work. Yep. I don't like it, I'm gonna blow it up. Well, we found all of the Royal Guard's armor. Okay. No. No? No. No? No. What is that bull crap? Oh, I'm not gonna fight anything. Yes, you are. Oh, this looks friendly. Surely this is it, right? This looks friendly and accompanying. This this seems good. I think that you're about to make a good friend. I wore my gym shorts. <laughs> Link. Link. I'm sorry. But my power isn't strong enough. I can't hold. I mean, if that's true, she really timed that well. Mm-hmm. How many legs does he have? Oh, he's a guardian! It's a good thing I just picked up those arrows. Yeah, he's like part guardian. Or motorcycle, one of the two. I can't I can't tell yet. Ta-da! Man. Scourge of Hyrule Castle, Calamity Ganon! This is it! Man, he has a big beard and you were just jumping on his roof and everything like that. Oh, no wonder he's pissed. Okay, well, good luck. Now my moment has finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the sting of my revenge. Anyone else pitching in there, Ravali? This will be our final opportunity. We will not fail. Also, Jesus, with a Kamehameha. <laughs> Let's go, little guy. Now. Open up, again! A hundred years in the making. Hold on, princess. Our moment has arrived. My understanding is that divine beasts are optional. Yeah. Like, you can get to this without... So, like, this cutscene wouldn't happen, or you could maybe just have certain beams. And it, like... I'm guessing it it weakens him in some way, but I don't think that it's required, which is really cool. That's really cool. So he only has half of a health bar because of the work that we did before even getting to this point. Well, I did phase one. <laughs> you haven't done anything yet. <laughs> he is grumpy. I mean, of course he is. It's been a very long time. I feel kind of bad because he's been in that little sack. And his legs, he probably, his legs are all scrunched up. He's just uncomfortable. Anyway, you have like six hearts, so. Just... <laughs> Ganon, Ganon, hold on. Hold on, buddy. Just gonna scan. Just gonna scan this amoeba. I got some rocks. 
Oh. <laughs> I don't worry. I got a picture. Oh no, my shorts. Goes for the arm cannon. And then the legs. That is a big sword. You're on, on fire. You're on fire, but just a little bit. Ow. Ooh, that one hurts. That's a spicy one. That's a spicy one. He's going, he's going up on the walls. I don't like his. Mal going for the ancient arrow, but uh, takes a blast in the face. Probably a little early, but eats the food. Now we got some tornadoes. These, uh, these are things that we've seen earlier in the game. Yeah. But they're already gone. Interesting. I would have I would have thought the same thing that we had to magnesis them. Well, that did do damage. Yeah. Woo! Mal's really obsessed with the arm cannon. I thought it would hurt. He has a head. You <laughs> oh, that. Oh, but he also has a thorax. Solid damage uh, to the Noggin with the sword there. Go up, Link. Pop the skips and a jump to do. You're still... It's going through the arm cannon. Yes. It's not... It's not doing anything. Okay. Like, it just, it clips oh, through it. Oh, this is fun. Oh, nice. this takes me back to the uh, first Divine Beast we did. Easy peasy. You're an expert. Thank you. Oh, he fell. Thank you, buddy. Make his progress there. I wonder if I can cut his legs off. I mean, it's not a completely unreasonable idea. It's doing damage. I don't know if you can not if enough. you can dismember mm -hmm. him. There is no way we brought enough food. There's no way we brought enough food. Absolutely no way in hell we brought enough food. I suppose I could wear a better outfit. I mean, you could. No, 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 don't wear that. Don't wear you that. You want me to wear Barbarian? Barbarian is the same amount of defense, but it also gives you attack out. But hey, basically has what, third? Third health, maybe even a quarter. I will shoot in your general direction, Ganon! I hit him. You did hit him. Ouch. Oh, he has a spear! It looks like he can just shoot tornadoes. Yeah. I don't like your spear very much. Does he know he's destroying his house? It's gonna be very costly to renovate. Oh, I think now you're at a, a, a quarter of a second. Oh, he a flame boy. <laughs> Same guy. Pokemon snap. Nice dodge. Oh, don't stop till you get enough. He's just gonna keep at it. You might have to deflect the laser. Yeah. You can do it, Mal. Oh wait, as soon as you go to do it, he stopped. All right. Oh, he's made of metal. Oh, now he's not. So when he's, he's like made of iron or something? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, that's it doesn't not doing seem to anything. work when he is orange. We 
please stop shooting at me. But I don't want it. I have a thought. Nope. Well, <laughs> if he was made of water. Uh, although stasis, well, if he's if he is metal, then maybe there's something, some part of it, 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 where you can move him. But stasis may may be useful, possibly. <laughs> Belly flop. <laughs> it looks like he's only vulnerable for a second when you. Yeah, you should try and maybe. You're... Okay, now. You gotta, what? <laughs> you gotta lock onto him. Take your time. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. A. Remember, it's A. No. Oh. <laughs> Dropped a broadsword. <laughs> you can't carry any more melee is that, weapons. I was, for a minute, I was like, is that your sword? But no, it's not your sword. <laughs> You're raring to reflect. <laughs> that thing's four <laughs> times bigger than you. are like, I got it. Put me in, coach. It didn't work like I wanted it to. Don't worry, there's still food. Oh. Oh boy. You got it! Go in for the kill! Nice! Even more than I thought you were gonna be able to do. All right. Really, relatively, a sliver of health. You, you, I believe in you, I believe in you. <laughs> Bling. That was a foul ball, that was a foul ball. Thanks, Daruk, need ya. We're going for a home run. You were facing the wrong direction. You were Oh my god, why did the game let you do that? I don't know. Going for the kill! Woo! Give him hell, Mal! Attempted, attempted to use... Oh, nope. I think you're gonna have to break his defenses again. got this. There you go. End it. Now, if this is like any other Zelda game, there's got to be a phase two. And there is. I yeah. I would have felt really bad if the game would have ended there, because then it would have just been, oh, Mal beat it, and I didn't help at all. Okay. Certainly... You have a phase two. You're bleeding a lot. Or whatever this is. Gasoline. Motor oil. Motor oil. Maybe that is it. It's probably not it. This is probably one. There's always two phases to Ganon. Fun time to go home. Koroks? <laughs> that was a yeah, ha, ha I was in him. I'll teleport you up. He ate me. Oh, Kippy Horse. 
One of them. Can't be two. Mm. Ganon. Ganon was born out of a dark past. He is a pure embodiment of the ancient evil that is reborn time and time again. He has given up on reincarnation and assumed his pure, enraged form. If set free upon our world, the destruction will be unlike anything ever seen before. Dark Beast Ganon, Hatred and Malice Incarnate. Take a photo. Could you just... I entrust you want to scan an amiibo? Light, a oh! Seems you evil. can't carry any more bows, though. Right? <laughs> Link, you may not yet be at a point where you have fully recovered your power. I have actually. But courage need not be remembered, for it is never forgotten. Can I get this? Bow of Light, 32 times 3. Oh, is that the one I had? This just does 100. Princess Zelda gave you this bow and arrow for the battle with Dark Beast Ganon, and when wielded by the hero, it fires arrows of pure light strong enough to oppose the calamity. Okay, but... Could you... Oh, I can't do this on horseback. Okay, so maybe I won't take... Ow. Take a photo. Oh, yeah. Good, good thinking. That energy is... Uh huh? Yep. Yeah. Link, what are you doing? I'm just taking- I just wanted to- I just want to add it to my compendium. Where my horse at? I will hold the malice back as much as I can, but my power is waning. Attack any glow- Hold on, I still got a Lionel bow. Hold on. <laughs> Let me... Is that glowing? What's glowing? His mouth? No. Like, is he just glowing, just in general? There's some on his... Oh, 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 it's Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, okay. Yeah, I played Shadow of the Colossus. You're screwed, dude. Okay, I ran into a tree. Okay, so maybe I'm screwed. Why did we spawn into a forest, Zelda? Well, I'm getting kind of close to his backside. I bet this guy can really rip one. Where is your special zone? Oh, what is that? You're just jealous because you're Kepi 2 and we've been hanging out with Kepi 1 and Big Kepi, and Big Kepi the whole game. And you're like, oh yeah, now you need me. Okay, I know he's scary, but you know what else is scary? Trees. Glue, so just keep riding. Where is this guy's special zone? Maybe you gotta get closer to him. Oh, you're holding back the mouse again, okay. Please. Is it because we don't have a good bond? Like, why did they pull out Kepi 2? We rode Kepi 2, like, once. And it was an accident, mostly. <laughs> Alright. No, 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 Kepi 2. Soothe, soothe, <laughs> soothe, Kepi 2. Soothe, Kepi 2. Soothe, Kepi 2. Soothe, Kepi 2. Kepi 2, go. Soothe, Kepi 2. Oh, here comes the mount. Hold on, I'm just gonna eat some of this simmered fruit. Mmm, love me some simmered. Oh, here it comes. I'm okay. You got any? No. Oh, it's it's on its butt, ain't it? Belly. Did I get it? I don't know. I, I think I did some damage, actually. So close. Yeah, I think I actually did hit it. All right, let's see here. Yeah, you can turn. Look up where? Look up where? Oh, it's, oh head. it's head. It's head! I got this. Do what you... I bet I gotta climb it. It's Shadow of the Colossus! It's Shadow of the Colossus! Come on, Kepi 2! Time to be a hero! Oh, I can't, you can't climb this stuff. 
Oh wait, no, You're you can't. Being oh, hurt. okay, never mind. It's not Shadow of the Colossus. Never mind, it's not Shadow of the Colossus. It's <laughs> not away. Shadow of the Colossus. Run, Run away. away. <laughs> Run away. Oh, it has an eyeball up there. Oh, that's what. Oh, that's what's glowing. Hey, you, you almost have him. Did you want to change? I'm gonna sell this guy the Nintendo Switch of his frickin' life. Also, I haven't chosen a hat. <laughs> I had not previously thought about the hat part of this equation. We'll put on these. That's a pretty good look. Watch me not be able to, like, beat him because... <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Yeah. Okay. All right, buddy. No more Mr. Nice Link. Let's do this. Open your eye. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting real close to the mouth. I'm getting real close to the mouth. Hold on. Hold your on. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, where's the eyeball? There it is. I missed it. All right, hold on. I am in my salesman outfit. Open your eye. Please open your eye. Open your eye. The eye. There it is. You're not, you're not doing the thing. The, the eye. Zelda, make him do it. Zelda. Zelda, please, Zelda. Does he, do I have to be far enough away for him to open the eye? Oh. Sorry, Kepi, it's been fun. I was like, he ain't opening the eye, and then she's like, the wind. <laughs> you know, the wind. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, would, I would like to offer you a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> oh, there she is. What kept her? I think, um, I think he might be in trouble. That's right, Zelda. Trap him until the sequel. Oh, Jesus Christ. screen Goku finally a worthy opponent the quest oh man that one oh man I, I forgot about that one that's why we did it that's right I've been keeping watch over you all this time I've witnessed your struggles to return to us, as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, no, I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Link. The hero of Hyrule. May I ask, do you really remember me?
thought it was going to come up in the style of like Telltale Games, be like, yes, or <laughs> no, or ellipsis. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda. There's more to the title, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what have we been playing for a year? Man. That was really good. Yeah. Hey, the staff and everything. Um, so this is usually the part where we discuss our experiences with the game. Mm-hmm. And I gotta tell you, and I said this pretty early on, but like, this is my favorite Zelda game. <laughs> like, it became my, my favorite Zelda game like super fast. Mm -hmm. It didn't take a whole lot. I was like, oh, I love this. And I, it's not that I even disliked old Zelda games. I, I, I don't dislike that formula, but like, th this was such a, a welcomed change to a very old and established franchise. Yeah. It was a very different experience than the others. Yeah, and like, because of that, this is the sort of game that I think could be pretty polarizing. Mm -hmm. Because while it's very much, in my opinion, it's very much a Zelda game, and it's full of the, the same lore, and, and uh, items, and experiences, and NPCs, and like, it's all these references to the past Zelda games. Like, very much, overtly, a Zelda game. It could be polarizing, because, yeah. you know, like, if you if you love the Zelda series and you like the, the the formula, and you get to this game, it's a little different. You know, there aren't there aren't dungeons in the traditional sense. The divine beasts are as I close as I didn't miss them. See, I didn't miss them. Mm -hmm. I did not miss them. I actually I really loved the idea of you kept stumbling across these many dungeons. 120 just miniature dungeons spread all throughout the world. I really loved that idea. But the Divine Beasts were very similar to a traditional Zelda yeah, dungeon. Yeah, they were. And those were fun. I liked those. Uh, the, I think the, the question is, you know, which one is better? And I think they're both valid. Yeah. And I think that we'll probably continue to have both types of Zelda games moving forward. You know, I think that that what, what we've had for 30 years is well-established and well-loved, and I think that we'll continue to have that. But also, Breath of the Wild had massive success. Mm -hmm. So clearly there is an interest in that sort of model. Yeah. So because of that, I think we'll probably, from here on out, we'll probably be getting a little bit of both. Um, and, like, we got, uh, we got the Link's Awakening remake. That happened after Breath of the Wild was released, mm -hmm. so, like, that's one example. But, yeah, I, I really, really loved this. And, um... I I feel like there was actually, I feel like there ended up being more story and more lore in this game than other, other Zelda games. Uh, just because like, there's so much, I mean, there's so much world and there's so much material to read and there are mm -hmm. so many NPCs. There's so much material. And, and sometimes it felt like there was less story because it's so spread out. Yeah, it Whereas, is. like, you know, in a traditional Zelda game, it's like, I'm going to be going from point A to point B, and everything is connecting the story. Whereas in Breath of the Wild, it's just kind of like, well, you know, roam free. And if you don't see any story stuff for 20 hours, that's not our fault. You know, you just, you were out there shooting ducks or whatever. Um, so I, I guess, you know, it's a little bit of both, but I actually felt more connected to the story in this game than I think I have for any other Zelda game, to be honest. And the locales were good. Yeah, they were. The world was, I mean, it was, there it was, was pretty dense. There was something fun everywhere. Yeah. Like, whether it was a Korok or a shrine or a town or... Yeah. Yeah, and there was interesting things to find all over the place, mm -hmm. too. Um, whether it was a quest that was hiding out in the middle of nowhere or sometimes, like... The dragons would show up, or... Oh, here's a little... You have to play golf here. Yeah, there was so much mm -hmm. creative stuff. 
Um, it did take advantage of the Switch's hardware uh, with the, the gyro capabilities. Um, I don't feel like those really overstayed their welcome, like as far as like the gyro puzzles go. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the addition of the gyro for the uh, bow and arrow is really great. Yeah. It took a little bit to get used to, but I think in the end it's it's actually a better experience. So for anyone that would be like starting Breath of the Wild and might be turned off by the gyro controls, I would give them just a little bit of time because being able to aim 95% of the way with the sticks and then finesse the last 5% with just motion is actually pretty great. Yeah, it was. And you were good at it. Thanks. Because you did the horseback thing like first try. Still a little jealous of that. Um, the overall story was really good, bringing in all of like the different races and everything, and how everyone like worked together and was, mm -hmm. you know, like all of the different parts of the map like basically came together to to help each other. And I really, really love the fact that nothing is mandatory. I think that's super cool. The fact that you can get off the plateau and be like, I'm gonna go fight Ganon now. <laughs> like, if you can do it, I, you know, go do it, I guess. It makes me wonder. How you would fare? Well, I would probably die. But like, if you got off the plateau, right? Mm -hmm. And you go fight Ganon, do they just give you a horse? If you don't have like a horse that's your horse? Probably. They're just like, here, here's old Willy. Oh, Willy from the woods down yonder. And you're like, thanks. And you don't have any bond. And he's like, I don't know who you are. What is that? What is that? Where am I? I was just teleported here. <laughs> kind of feel bad. Anyway, otherwise, uh, everything was great. Uh, the crafting system is super cool. Um, I do wish there was a way to cook more at once instead of like, okay, well, here's one meal. Throw it in the pot, wait. Yeah. Okay, now let's take this. I think the game probably wanted you to cook more regularly. Yeah, we didn't. But that's not how, I mean, it's not really yeah. how I would play the game anyway. I would just, I'd make a bunch of stuff to survive for a while, and then, you know, because of that, we only cooked every once in a while. Um, one of the ways that uh, Emil had explained the, I guess kind of the crafting system, and then also the, um, in like the environment is that if something makes sense in your head then it works mm -hmm. uh, you know that if you if you can if you can envision something working then it probably works that way yeah whether it was through magnesis with something metal or electric or fire or water or ice like if you think something works away some some way then it, it does and that actually makes you feel really smart as a player yeah it does one of my favorite things was discovering that, like, when we were close to ice, um, if we had the, the fire sword on our back, that it would melt the ice. Or just when it, when we went into cold climates, it's like, oh, we don't have quite enough, like, hot or clothing to keep us yeah. warm. But it's like, oh, if you just have a fire sword on, that keeps you warm. Like, it's so cool. I love that. It's super neat. I just love that sort of thing. So, yeah, Breath of the Wild does a good job of making you feel smart. Oh yeah, we're still dressed like this. See, they don't have to stay in their respective areas. Because I was harking on that in the beginning. I was like, they were like, oh, what's going on down in the town? And I'm like, you're a ghost, just go look. Anyway. Blink, blink. Hey Zelda. You remember when there was an In-N-Out here? The end. Mm. 
We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Varuta. Looks like it's stopped working. Let's investigate the situation. Mifa's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, there is still so much more for us to do, and so many painful memories that we must bear. I believe in my heart that if all of us work together, we can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond, but it all must start with us. Let's be off. I see that they forced me to change my clothes. I can no longer hear the voice inside the sword. I suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years. I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that. <laughs> Again, we use Kepi 1 the whole game, and then they give us Kepi 2 at the end. <laughs> That's her horse. Oh, what? Oh! What was that? They had talked about it when we found Kepi 2, that it was like the princess's horse descendants through the years. Oh, so that's not like just. Okay, that makes more sense. I can. Okay, I can buy that. Hey, we beat the game. Yeah. Uh, let me use this opportunity to um, say thank you all for watching. Whether you watched on, on Twitch or you watched on YouTube, we sincerely appreciate you uh, sticking with us through this extremely long adventure. Um, and it has been a long adventure. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to Dan for editing this series. Uh, if you watch this on YouTube, the reason you watched it is Dan. So thank you, Dan, for making this a reality. Uh, this is actually one of Dan's favorite games ever. And uh, I know that he was really excited about us doing the project. And he was excited to edit the project. And he also begged us not to get all the Korok seeds. <laughs> so you're welcome, buddy. We didn't get them all. I uh, also want to say a thank you to Chaz for always facilitating um, really fun environments for everyone on uh, Friday nights whenever we do our streams. So thank you, Chaz. And uh, along the same lines, thank you to all of our mods, our entire mod team, for making Friday nights a reality so folks have a place to sit down for the weekend and enjoy themselves. This was a fun game. Yeah. And it, you know, we're a little late to the party. Because, uh, you know, we didn't get started on it until uh, you know, three years after it came out. But you know what? Just in time for Breath of the Wild 2. Now, I can say with some certainty after having such good experiences with Breath of the Wild that we will absolutely be back to cover the sequel. Yeah. I can't wait. Maybe we'll even fight another Lino or whatever the evolution of the Lino is with uh, split joy cons again. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next Stephen Amal series. Whatever that is. Whatever that happens to be. Okay, so now that we've beaten the game, we're gonna take a look. Can I start at the beginning? Do do do. Do 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 I think this is probably a pretty good speed. Yeah. Maybe it should be faster, I don't know. But this is this is all plateau stuff, right? Yeah, this is the plateau. Okay, this is like watching it's like watching a movie. Gotta review everything. There's a lot there was a lot of material on the on the plateau. Oh we died! That was the first death. That was when I died in the water. <laughs> in like an inch of water. We had done really well before that. Because at a certain point, we just stopped dying. Yes. But, you know, we 
Oh, there's another one. It'll be interesting because we will start connecting to all of the, um, the shrines, the shrines and stuff mm -hmm. too. So we warp back. We finally make it to Kakariko Village. We'll be warping back there a lot throughout the course of the, the playthrough. Those Peaks shrines. We did those really early. Mm -hmm. Finally got to hot, or no, we stopped before we got to hot no. Yeah, we did. There was Why? a thing to do. Oh. Do you remember? Also, we must have been on a horse because that was quick. Okay, finally got to hot no. We had to do the, the carrying of the flame thing. Yep. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. I don't know why we rode the path up. I don't know why we didn't just warp. Oh, we made a little bowl. Oh, it's cute. Figure eight. We start forcing ourselves up through the wetlands. Tower. We're headed towards Zora's domain. Yep. This is where they were like, follow the river, and we were like, nah, and then we started. Yeah, you can tell we just cut through the woods. Oh, there's a death there. There's mm -hmm. another death. That was the Lionel. Yeah. Again. Man, the Lionel and really... Then your, your mom. Your mom. Mm-hmm. The origins of your mom. And then back... Kept coming back to the plateau. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's the Divine Beast. I really wanted those three trees in a row shrine. It's, it, it, watching it, watching the playback, some of the paths we yeah. took are really weird. Yeah. I'm sure it felt correct at the time, but they're watching them back now. I'm like, these are strange and don't make a whole lot of sense. We connected a path that we abandoned earlier. That was funny. Oh, going south. So the certain at a certain point, we'll be behind our um, we'll be behind our our face cam. So I have to make sure we're not in the bottom left corner of the screen. Let me zoom back out. Made it to that shrine. Gave up. We gave up. Went back to Kakariko. Why did we give up? Do you remember these shrines? Do you remember what was down there? Uh, um. Oh, we're getting ready to, oh yeah, this is, yep, yep, there it is. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we're getting ready to go down there. Oh, there's Eventide. Mistakes were made, but we, we survived and there's no deaths, right? Yeah, we didn't die. No. We did not die there. Five hearts. Back to, back to uh, Kakariko. I wanted to see that. Just want to see that little thing. Oh, I remember this part with the dragon. It kept getting knocked down. We just must always go there to turn in our oh, shrines. Oh, I wanted the big horse, but I didn't have enough stamina. It would be a, it would be a while later until mm -hmm. until Big Kepi was ours. It's interesting because, like, some of the things I don't remember very well, like individual shrines and stuff, but yeah. there's certain moments on the map I I very vividly remember, and they're really early, like, comparatively. There was uh, the three Henoxes right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were, like, brothers or something. They were related. Oh, we were trying to go up to uh, top right. What's it called? Oh, I had to run the spiral. <laughs> yeah, there was another Aqua lab. Tep lab. Yeah. We had to run the fire there. When do we go see the labyrinth in the top right? That's not that far it's off. It's coming up. That was a Lionel fight. That was the first one you got. Yeah. And, and then, then I we went to the and, the, and then didn't I I get a, a spear or something and then I destroyed it immediately trying to do the golf thing? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like me. 
we also noped out of the labyrinth because um, that that was too 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 scary. We go back at some point. Oh yeah, we did those little islands. Oh uh, yeah, we wanted to explore that. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is where we start going up Death Mountain. And then we were like, no, let's go here. Gotta cook something. Yeah. Why do we go back to... Quest? Maybe. Sometimes we also just teleported to the wrong spot. Goron City. Oh, we went back and got the thing. I mean, I'm glad we did because that is easily one of the most helpful items in the game, though. Like, it's extremely, extremely good. Did some random stuff. Still in Goron City. Worked our way up the mountain, gave up. Did we give up? I don't know. There's a death there, okay. Yeah, we haven't gone after the Divine Beast yet, I don't think. Mm -mm. Unless that ca unless we unless got that it. Was Maybe it. that was it. Maybe. Maybe that was all the further you have to go. It must be, because we've now left the area and now yeah, we're like, yeah, I we get stuff that to was do. It. Okay. We're just popping into a few places here and there. Oh, we grabbed that shrine. And that shrine. And throughout this entire time, we've largely stayed away from... Central Hyrule? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the most part, we have not gotten really that close to it. Except early game when I went and got that... The tower in the beginning. The tower mm -hmm. early on where the ribbon was. That was a scary tower. We had to follow him. Do you remember we had to do the follow oh, quest? Oh, we had to do it like multiple times. Oh. We got that. How? What did we do to die in the? <laughs> pulled the sword. Oh yeah, I pulled this. Oh yeah, I pulled the sword. It's like, why did we die in Korok Forest? We pulled the sword. <laughs> Suddenly. Had to cook. See the fairy. The densest area of travel is definitely um, Kakariko Forest, mm -hmm. or Kakariko Village. <laughs> just, want to, just want to see this much of the map and then move on, thanks. Well, we went and explored. That was the dark area where it was all dark all the time. Oh yeah, oh and I was convinced there was more than one shrine there, and yep. I was wrong. There was not. We're starting to head down to the, down to the, the desert, left. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, some of the, I'm not some of the choices. I you know I'm not exactly sure where we're going exactly. But now we've seen a lot of the right side of the map, mm -hmm. so we're we're able to quickly bounce around because we have so many warp points at this. At, you know, at this point. But we haven't died in a while. Yeah. So I think we're to the point now where we're able to live. Doing a lot there. Terrytown. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here comes all the Terrytown stuff. Had to go, like, pay stuff at our house. Probably. Terrytown. Gonna see a lot of Terry Town. Came down there. That's where we got the Goron that oh, had that the was, sun name. That, that was where I was like, this is a faster way to Terry Town. And you're like, it's definitely not. And I was like, it is. And then I did it and it wasn't. Chat said cutting down trees. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Back into the forest for a bit. Still wandering around there. Are we finally ready to head west? We're finally ready to head west. 
Should probably zoom in a little bit. Hold on. Pause. <laughs> I'll have to like do it manually for whenever it's in the bottom part of the map because otherwise you won't be able to, to see. So we warp over there. We're warping all over the place. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't remember. We are everywhere. I'm sure there was a purpose, but like, we're barely going anywhere each time. Were we looking for materials? Maybe. Oh, we finally get up Mount Laneru. And we got the, um, the dragon. Mm-hmm. We wiggled around all the way up there. Anyway, here we go to Gerudo. <laughs> so fun, yeah, it's so weird because earlier we come through here and then we leave and like we don't get back mm -hmm. here until much later, I don't know. So we finally make our way down here to Gerudo Town. Popping in and out, back and forth. Back to Kakeriko. Back, back to, to Terry Town. Back to Gerudo Town. That was the heroines, the seven. Oh, uh, yep, yep, yep. And then the, the carry the cold. And then we finally went Mulduga. across across the desert. Although we missed the, the ferry. You can see us like, go around it and then we make a beeline for it. Finally discovered that, that ferry. Head up that way. Kind of get into the highlands, go back to Kakariko Village, back to the highlands to finish the highlands. Well, we had to do the Yiga that was there. Yeah, that was a little earlier. Mm -hmm. Drew to town. <laughs> Loop to that was the, um, that's the boss. Yes. That's what all this warping is, was the uh, Divine Beast. <laughs> e. Because <laughs> he was easy. Still bouncing all over the place. Haven't found the, um, the shrines to the west. I guess those that are That might later. have been one of those bonus ones that were like the three for each. Yeah, it might have been a little bit later. Terrytown. Terrytown. Oh, time to head north. Cook. Something. Terrytown. Or Kirikiriko. Oh, we got a little bit more into Central High Rule there. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. Still no deaths in a while. Back there. <laughs> Just wiggled there for a minute. Oh, whoa! We had places to go. That was the electric area, and we oh, were like, Oh, yeah, nah. and, and we were like, yeah, we'll come back to it. And we did. Mm -hmm. It took a while, but we did. Is that where the golf was? No. That's where the golf that was. A, yeah, okay, that's golf. Finally get to read the village. Last big village. Back to the tech lab. I don't know why we went back there. Terrytown. Probably because we met the last son in Rito Village. Oh, yep. That's probably it. Mm -hmm. Begin sort of getting out of there. Because we have to eventually get up into the Hebrew Mountains. We were trying to do that shrine and we had to get things or something. There's a lot of wiggling around the Rito Village. Oh, coming back to this tower. Very. Yeah, we well, at some point in the adventure, we start making a lot of stops to the ferry. Okay, now we're finally up into the Hebrew Mountains. Found one shrine, found another shrine. There's the tower, another shrine, 
Another shrine. Another shrine. Another shrine. We must have been getting a lot of... That uh, was the snowboarding. Yeah, and then some of these were where you had to roll then the... Then we went to see uh, the hot spring for Wallace Gotham. And we missed one of the shrines mm -hmm. that was right up there, too. That might have been one of those three DLC ones. For each. Got up there, found some uh, some shrines, and also vinyls. Terrytown. Back to Terrytown. Zora's Domain. For something... Probably another sun. Terrytown. Anyway, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were over here. Let's keep going. There's a labyrinth. All right, we gotta go. You fought a Lionel. We were also looking for Skelly, Skelly Horse yep. at some point. Back to Hotno. Terrytown. Certainly, we're just about done with Terrytown. Yeah, we are. There's a death! That's That was when I kept running into the stuff. With the DLC. The what? The DLC. Another death! When I hit the the spike wall, or the bees and the spikes. Oh, that's right! When we had to do the special DLC. Another death? Yeah, when we had the, the thing that does the one, one the obliterator. obliterator. Yeah. There's another, here's where all of our deaths are. <laughs> another death. <laughs> I remember playing it really safe. After a few of those, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, back to Gerudo Town. Oh, now we have the helmet or something. Yeah, I think we finally had the Thunder Helm. Mm -hmm. I think for a lot of it, we, we, we're we probably starting to get to the point in the game where we didn't really know where things were. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of looking for spots on the map that we haven't explored so we can oh, go... Oh, the... Oh, the that's horse... the Horse Necromancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was some of the, the dragon. Yeah, the big dragon... Uh, that, mm -hmm. like, entrance thing. This is DLC for Mifa. Yeah, yeah, that's what all these are. But they also, they, some of these shrines are the DLC shrines. Yes. Which is why we wouldn't have found them. That's why we just went they don't, to the elephants. Because they don't show up on the map until you start the DLC. So we weren't actually that close to them because they didn't exist until we started it. Yeah. Did we figure out? That was yeah. when I was doing the... That's where you parried all of the yeah. guardians. Yeah, I was really impressed. Thanks. There's still a lot of stuff up here we're missing. This... No. Oh, we did we do... After Mifa's, what did we do? Did we do... The Rito one? This is the Rito one, Cause, yes. Yeah, because these are all, like, connected. See how there's two shrine symbols? One's, like, taller and one's shorter? The taller ones are the DLC ones that matched this. I cannot tell a visual difference. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? So, like, see the two together oh, on no, Death I Oh, no, I do see them. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, it's that's extremely subtle. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. This was getting armor. Because there was one in that swamp or a book or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we started to finally look at the side quests and we're like, we should probably do these side quests. Because <laughs> we, we had a laundry list of them. They were taking up too much space. But it was fun to like go and try and find all the armor pieces and stuff. And some of the side quests are really useful because it pushes you into parts of the map that you otherwise just don't go. Yep. Which I like. Oh my God, we're in we're in ah we were a little bit in, in the central Hyrule field there. <laughs> Finally got There's that thing. One, two, up to, the, up to the corner, and three. Oh, 
Because we keep going back to each of the... Divine beasts divine for the beasts. fight. Mm -hmm. And we also learned that you can cheese it if you have an attack up or something yep. when you go in, yep. that it keeps it. And we found that out by accident, which was really great. Back to Kakariko Village, a place we've never been. Oh, we must be doing the DLC now for the Goron part. We are. And then the ones north. Took us a while to find it. Mm-hmm. And is that all of them? Yes. So that takes care... Then that was all the DLC, and that's when we got the motorcycle, right? Uh-huh. So now we have the motorcycle. Or did we do Zora last? No, we did that one, like, first. That was the waterfall shrine. You sure we did that first? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we must already have the the motorcycle. Yeah, we have the motorcycle. Okay. Yeah, I think this is where... This is where um, we were just starting to wrap everything up. Oh, yeah, we went, we went back to Zora's Domain for the trident when we were looking for the trident. It's fine. Everyone, everyone was very sad. Not as sad as us. Oh, was that was that was just us like looking around. There was that little island. This the is west the Xenoblade DLC that we just did, where we crossed Lake Hylia, and yeah. the, the guy had, jumped backwards. Emil had been waiting for us to do that since the beginning, but and it was so easy to do. But we were like, ah, we don't know the map. It's impossible. Yeah. It took us until the very end of the game. That was the Colosseum. Yeah, and like the Colosseum and the little the little island that's west of Korok Forest, like all these little places, they don't have shrines. They're just neat. They're just little places you can go, and they have like cool stuff in them. And like, I guarantee you there's another a handful, I bet there's another 10 places that we never even found. Yeah. That they're the exact same way because the map is so dense. So there's probably little pockets of like just interesting things, maybe have little Easter eggs, but it's so hard to find everything because the map is just huge. I think that was that last uh, thing in Kakariko where we had to like follow and find the person. I don't remember that. Okay. Went back to Terrytown. Back to Kakariko. I think this is when we were doing the Korok who was like on top that was like, I need these things. I thought we did that a lot earlier. I don't remember. I can't remember why we keep. Oh, we probably turning. That was in our, probably the We're trial. probably turning in our uh, seeds too. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we did the trials. Yep, this is probably where we did the trials. That's right. And you can see everything converging because we really stay out of the center, mm -hmm. and like there's slowly but surely we've connected all the lines to the shrines. We're running out of stuff to do. There's a shrine that was hiding. Mm -hmm. There's a shrine up yonder that's hiding. Yep, and we're going up there now. Yep, there it is. So, like, very soon, there's not going to be anything left to do. Got that's that one. That's the Blood Moon Shrine. Was that the Blood Moon Shrine? Yep. So, that's it. So, that's all the shrines. Mm -hmm. So, at this point, we were done with Well, the there was a couple shrines left. Oh, we found the Blood Moon Shrine, but we yeah. didn't beat it. That's yeah. right. Yeah, this is just us wrapping up all the shrines. Which ones aren't connected to the green lines now? They are. They all are, except Blood Moon. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. We had to bring her the stuff she wanted. That's right. That one was a pain. But that's all of them. Oh, that one. We couldn't find that one. That was like the find the pieces that are glowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one was a bit of a pain, too. And then it was that last one. That was it. And then we started just waiting for the Blood Moon, and eventually we go we go into the castle for the first time. Yeah. We ride right up the back, but I'm not sure when that... Fought a Lionel. Another Lionel. Because we were trying to get the Barbarian gear. Yep. Fairy and then Terrytown. Hey, bud. Here, now we're in the castle. Yep, there's us entering the castle for the first time, and then leaving, and then driving up, And then I think we re-enter it. Uh, stop! I don't know. There, we were well. We were scared. 
because I didn't want to miss out on the Blood Moon. Cause we, you went and got some bananas or durians and then cause, cooked them. Because at this point, we and still... And then fought another Lionel. Because at this point, we still did not have mm -hmm. the Blood Moon. Yes. Very... Hoped for a Blood Moon. Tried it again. Nope. When did we get the Blood Moon? What did we do? I don't remember We're not there now. yet. Because we didn't go to the one place and ask the guy over and over yet. This is where we asked the guy, like, oh, is there a blood moon tonight? And there was a falling star. Oh, yeah, and we chased it. And then we did some other quest. And we also did, like, the horse racing and stuff. Is that... That's coming up yet. This is us doing other little things. We had a lot of viewer suggestions mm -hmm. to try and check out. Back to Terrytown. Do we buy the house? Was that that part? Must have been. Yeah, I bet that's turning what in that seeds. Was. We might have had seeds still left to turn in, but we did not need them, so. I think that was a mistake. What? We've never done one of those. It was you trying to fly? Oh yeah. That I was when we fly. finally got that shrine. So, so at this point, we finally have all the yes. shrines. So now, last minute viewer suggestions to try and wrap up. Let's see, what were we doing? Going into the castle. I think we got that last shrine that was in there then. Yeah. Do we have the Blood Moon by now? Are you yes, sure? Yes, we do. Okay, all right. Just check. We do. Lionel. Lionel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is just Lionel's. Fairy. Dragon Shard. Dragon Shard. The one that we had to wait on forever. Yes. And then it was like, so the minute that we left, it was fine. Uh -huh. And it showed up. I wanted to go to that fairy. <laughs> Exploring Castle Town. Oh yeah. Into the castle. I think this is where we get the final memory, was this one. So back to Kakeriko Village. And then we know where to get it, so then we go to get it. Yep. Which is out there, and then we get it. Then we go back to Gerudo Town? Is that where we... Oh, we started the reading. Boots. Oh, the yeah. Oh, yeah. We did the boots. We did the boots. Yeah. And we were trying to find the um, the eighth heroine sword. Yeah. And then we also were going to read... The di that's coming up, yeah. Oh, the diaries are coming there. up. How do you remember the order of all that? That was the foot race, and then you did it twice. I'm just blown away you can remember all this stuff. We fed a dog some meat there. And then this is the horse race. Horse race. We never beat that, right? No. It was we impossible. Didn't. No, we didn't. We do the archery race. You and do you, it a couple times. And then you beat it. Uh huh. One more. That had to be it. <laughs> yep, that was it. Because you have to go back to talk to him. Is this where we start reading the journals? We started with Mifas. No, we started with Daruks. We started yeah, with Daruks. So Daruk's. this is us reading the journals. Mm -hmm. Journal. See, now we're in Zora's domain. Journal. Mm -hmm. Journal. Journal. And what other things did we have to wrap up? We were trying to hit something with an ancient arrow. So we went to see a Lionel there. Oh, yeah. And then it got zapped into mm -hmm. the void with chat. And then we tried to make a boat fly. Yep. With octa balloons. That was a Lionel. The one we each had a half. And then we that had was another one there. And we had, cause, well, it had to be harder. Yeah. And then. 
This was today. We went in and we fought the thing. That's it. And that's it. That's where we are. Well, it doesn't show us fighting. No. Because it, it there is no post game. That's it. <laughs> Look, Void Lionel, that's you. Wow. Wow. Good cat. And like we didn't the whole the whole thing that it can remember is two hundred hours. Mm-hmm. And just kind of eyeing it, it looks like it's about half. So about a hundred hours. Mr. Game Boy says you went to Kakariko thirty-eight separate times. <laughs> well, you know, we needed we needed to go. That's what it was all about. We needed to go. You snoring. Cool. Oh, big stretch. Man, what a journey. What a frickin' journey. Mm -hmm.